Tonight, we watch Drag Me to Hell. Alright, welcome to night seven of the horror movie marathon. Tonight we watched Drag Me to Hell. And it was, well, no. Um, acting. First thing. The acting in this, at least I thought, wasn't really terrible. It wasn't. I mean, as far as the actors go, uh, Justin Long was good, the girl who played the girl there was good, uh, the Indian psychic guy they went to was decent, I mean, even the old lady was hokey, but not terrible acting. As far as that part goes, that I'll definitely give it was actually decent. Uh, my only two problems were... Just well, acting. Whoever, yeah, whoever they got to, uh, the actors that they got to play the, uh, cat and the goat, no, I'm sorry. They needed well, different yeah. actors for them. But no, acting-wise, the movie was decent. Everything from here, though, uh, the effects, oh god. At first, they weren't bad, but then the more the movie went, the cheesier and stupider the effects were. Like, like they the only, blew their whole budget in the first half hour. Yeah, the only good one was the old lady. Because afterward, the goat puppet, yeah. and the part where the green supposed to be liquid is coming out of the lady's mouth and just rolling off because it's clearly CG. Yeah. Like, it... Oh, so bad. Yeah, the lady herself, the old gypsy lady, she was great. She looked creepy. Every time I saw her, I was like, ooh, that's yeah. creepy. But other than that, yeah, the effects were... The fly was good. The fly looked real. Yeah. Especially when they did the close-up on the... The hellfire when, at the end wasn't bad. When they... When they... Yeah, when the fly landed on the lens, that was... See, it, it was stupid, but okay. it looked good. We're, we're gonna transition into story just on that, then, because... They broke the fourth wall with the fly landing on the camera lens, and that right there was enough to turn me off entirely from the movie. But even if that didn't do it, right in the first ten minutes, the whole way the movie is set up is bullshit. Because the whole thing here is a gypsy woman puts a curse on a lady because the bank forecloses on her house. But it's because she already had two extensions and wasn't paying her loan. I work at a bank. Fuck you. Like, pay your shit. If you don't, it's not other people's fault. You can't get pissed and, you know, blame shit on them because you didn't pay for your crap. Yep. Pay for it. Yep. Like, th there was no reason for the curse to happen. And any religion or spirituality or anything that I know of, you can't just randomly do harm to people for no reason. Like, I'm friends with Wiccans and stuff, and I know people who are Buddhist and Christian and Tao and everything you can think of. And the major golden rule of almost every religion I know of is, you know, you don't do harm to other people or it's going to come back, like karma. So, she can't just randomly say, oh, well, I didn't pay my loan, it was my fault, but fuck this lady, I'm going to curse her. With the ultimate curse and a demonic thing is going to steal her soul and drag her to hell. Like, no, the whole premise is shit, so everything else that happens after that is dumb because the premise alone is stupid. But the story itself was also stupid. Yeah. Like, she had an option to give away the curse the whole time and didn't because the dude decided not to tell her. And the fact that that one psychic who had been waiting to face against that Lamia for 40 years still wanted 10 grand to do it. Like, yeah. just everything here is just bad. Thoughts? No, that's pretty much it. It was a stupid story. It's, yeah. Top to bottom. Yeah. So was it scary? No. No. There, like, the old lady had a creep factor, that was about yeah, it. Yeah, there, there, there was the a jump couple scares cheap didn't jump work. scares. Um, um, everything that they tried to do was pretty obviously. Like, the fly landed on her face, and I was like, oh, it's going up her nose. And sure, yeah. it did. And, uh, the twist ending I saw coming five minutes ahead of time. Uh, the scene with the seance and the goat and the dude doing the little marionette dance on the table, would, not only was it not scary, it was hokey and ridiculous. It, it just looked... Like, so like the wire work on it was like, uh, yeah, you might have started well, like doing the jig in the air. I'm like, what the hell is this? Yeah, it was no, no. like this is definitely one where the ratings are going backward because I'd give this probably a four. I was gonna like, do the same thing, I, I wouldn't even say average. Like, yeah. this is below average. This is not, and I watch a lot of B and C budget films. In fact, hold on, let me uh. Those are all horror films. Some of them have 18 to 30 on disc. I have a couple to watch. And this is still terribly cheesy as far as horror movies are concerned. Like, this is not one that I would ever probably watch again. Hey, it had an entertaining factor, but it was just like, it was a one-time watch. And it, yeah. it, was, it was, like I said, rated in a four. Yeah. Also, That's I have fair. to point out, uh, I don't know if you can see it on the screen there, 
But here on the case, this is the unrated version. That's what it says right here. Unrated. There's no swearing, no nudity, uh, no actual violence. There's some CG blood and gore, but it's... Very little. Yeah, few and far between and very poorly done. What was so, that? So, this is just... I don't know why this is the unrated version. I can't imagine how much worse the rated version was. But, yeah, don't... In fact, originally the movie was rated PG-13. So it didn't even go from R to unrated. It went PG-13 to unrated. What's, this is shit, don't watch it. What's going on here, electricity? I don't know. Are there, are there, are there spirits here with us that are gonna... Well, <laughs> if they are, I hope they're a little... Is it the Lamia? I are hope you, it's a little more you, scary you, than this you, one. You, 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 you. So, uh, why I'm doing air quotes, I don't yeah. know. Allow me out. <laughs> you gonna do a little dance and a jig for us? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well that's our review, and apparently he's gonna watch Leprechaun now. Um, yeah, it was shit, and we gave it a four. So, there you go. If you did watch it, I'm sorry. If you're not playing along, then you've been warned. Don't watch this. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>